Good morning, everyone. It's the time for a cup of tea with your favorite animal. Then, yeah. Whatever you think I said, that, that's fine. All right. Let me say hello for whoever is early on the turtle cast. And we have Enflaked, Happy Turtle, Michelle Lagusi, Rising Sun, Glatonous Girl, Paul Cake, Blark. 1480, no capitals, and faceless. Welcome to the Turtle Cast. We have some interesting poll results to discuss in today's Turtle Cast, as well as. Yeah, there was new patch. We'll, of course, answer your question from Discord. I'm not sure if all the questions, as I was not able to fully explore this patch yet. Uh, I was doing some stuff, but not enough. I will try to spend more more time over the weekend, then we'll see. And what else? I don't know if there was inside the vault. I have absolutely no clue. Okay, it seems like stream is working. I have a preview here. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Who's joining us? Anyone else? Oh, Faceless joining us. Hello, Faceless. All right. Let's go first and... Check the Discord section. As always, we are starting from as the title section on our Discord. And we'll see what questions you have for me this time. Just let me find it. All right. It's here. Let's scroll up. Uh, this week started. Okay. That was last time. Let me scroll. I answer those. Okay, I think here. Okay, let me swap the camera. Okay, camera working. Hopefully it is. And you should be able to see us the title section and Socialist is first and saying ammo factor is handy if you don't like looting crafting legendary perception will always be useful for VATs. Okay, I think that that's answer for some previous questions. Mm, which one I didn't answer last time was I answer this? No, I think I didn't answer that. Okay, then we start here. Hi turtle. I have been moving endless robots at Zwei Spring to complete some world challenges. In the process, playing with many different weapons, I noticed some strange ammo glitches on my Gamma Gun. Whenever I log off my game and log back on with the Gamma Gun equipped, I start off with 300 or so ammo. Yeah, it's old glitch, they partially fix it, but not really as it's still happening. Yeah, I know it's happening. I don't know exactly how, but... It is happening. Someone else had similar glitch. Yeah, I know that it's happening. Giant Panda is saying, Hey Turtle, how are you finding the spawn point for your pillar camp? Is it pretty consistent? In example, you have a high rate of success spawning on the camp and not below it on the ground. It's very consistent. The only moment that I will spawn below the camp or I will fall down is if I fast travel to the camp that's not yet loaded on my game, like the client is loading items when you enter the area with your camp, which means usually if I log in directly into my camp, I have 50% to spawn before my camp will spawn, then I will fall. Or if I fast travel into my camp first time in the session, I have pretty guarantee uh, spawn below or drop from the camp. But if I do that and run away a little bit from the camp, fast travel again when the camp is already spawned, uh, I will successfully end on top and I place my camp unit as you were able to see on top of the healing machine. Therefore, it's slightly higher than uh, all those medallions are that making the floor, what makes it always spawn you on top for me and for other people. As long as the camp is spawned. AJW is saying Vita i Żółwie. That's almost, almost quite close to the Polish version of High Turtle. Not exactly, but plus for trying. <laughs> Does Grenadier still 
affect the Tesla rifle after the September 8th patch? Yeah, I think it is. It was on the PTS. I wasn't testing in the live game version yet, but I'm pretty sure it's still working. Next, Sandman for sure is saying hello. In the video about shotgun build, you mentioned Grenadier will work on the Gauss shotgun after last update. Is that still true? Yes, it is true. I will test all the weapons sure, uh, sure. soon, but yeah, it is working. And Arno is saying, what is the best mutation for heavy gunners and stealth commando? Herbivore or carnivore? Herbivore. Katy Shua is saying, eh, I would like to help, but I have no idea. I do Herbie for my bloody stealth commander. I won't try Carny on my junkie character. Carnivore is generally for melee and Herbivore is for everything else. That's, that's how you should use those two mutations. Unless you just prefer to your character to be carnivore for other reasons like roleplay, that's fine. I 800 Infantry is saying, hello Turtle, if you could use two weapons from any other game and then use them in Fallout 76, which two weapons would they be? Oh, that's a crazy question. There's so many weird weapons in other games. I don't know, but I think from all the weapons, lightsaber. Unless you mean range guns, I don't know. Just saying weapons then. Lightsaber. Uh, I will roleplay a Jedi <laughs> for fun. Yeah, lightsaber will be really cool. Hopefully, it will be doing damage. A lightsaber without the damage. That, that's not. That's not what we are looking for. We need to be able to reflect bullets and do damage. The proper, healthy lightsaber. All right. That concludes. As the title section. We can go back to the YouTube chat. You can see me again. Going back to the YouTube chat, I'm saying just general hello to everyone who joined. And yes, the double XP is going on. I think double daily score as well or something. Uh, we'll jump into the game for a moment at the end. At the end of title cast, we'll jump into the game as I will do my challenges. Then yeah, we, we will meet in game. Okay, let me see what else is going on here. Oh, you fell asleep on your couch, Lantar? What happened? Why didn't... Why you didn't make your way to the bed? <laughs> Was it so good party or other reasons? Gauss shotgun still useless against Scorch Beast Queen. Did you try to hit her in legs? Should try hitting in legs and see if that helps. The Savage Divide healing salve, one of the rare ones. Uh, I don't think it's Savage Divide. I think in the swamp area that's the rare one. Jedi Turtle, yes, Jedi Turtle would be awesome. Tank built with Vamp Shredder is still awesome. Yes, I, I know, I know. I like that combo as well. I, I cannot speak Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I cannot help you because I don't know any word in Spanish. Yeah, I know only daily challenges are doubled, not weekly. But we have double experience, that's why they don't combine it. If you will get double experience and simultaneously you will get double weeklies, that means you will be getting four times as much score for killing enemies because, you know, the 100 score for 10k experience will be 200 and 10k experience will be relatively more like 5k, that will be too much. Everyone will finish the score first week. That, that's why they never combine those two. Buenos dias, Tortuga. I don't even know if I read it right. <laughs> 
That's how good I am with languages. I don't even know how I learn English eventually. I, I'm terrible with languages, if you cannot tell. I'm not good with any. I speak Polish and English, and I'm not good with any language. Not even my first language. I'm not very good at that either. Oh, Lanta, you didn't mean to fall asleep. All right, that, that, that's okay. <laughs> it's good that you didn't fall asleep on the chair. That's the worst. That's the worst case. If you fall asleep in front of your computer on the chair, then you will wake up with your keyboard on your face and back pain. Not recommended. Did I talk about the goo already? No, but I'm gathering uh, info about all the sneaky changes Bethesda implemented. I'm testing them. I ask on my one of my polls if anyone know any. I know about the goo already. And no one will buy toxic goo for 10k caps. You can still pick up the vice in, in West Tech. You just cannot gather. I think you writing more in Spanish, but uh, I don't even know how you pronounce this N with a mark on top, then I will not try. <laughs> I will not try. Uh. Oh, Lantar, you can speak Korean? Oh, that's difficult language. That's difficult language. Yeah, my, my parents are from Poland. They, they still are in Poland, on, on, only me. I moved. My family is in Poland. <laughs> My English is better than your Polish would be. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I, unfortunately, Mr. CC, I don't know uh, any books from Andrzej Sapkowski. Then I, I don't know what you read, but I hope it's a good reading. I, I will be honest with you guys, I don't read too much. Apart from inside the vault and patch notes, not much time to actually sit with the book. If anything, I listen to audio or podcasts. Show us your room. What is that question? <laughs> that's not... That, that's a gaming channel. That's a gaming channel. That's not a living channel. Oh, there's Minerva Big Sale. I didn't even know about that. I need to check her. Free followed first for a month if you have Game Pass? Oh, then maybe I will have followed first on consoles tomorrow. I think tomorrow we play on Xbox. Then, yeah, I will check it out. Oh, he, he wrote the Witcher books. Okay, I watched the Witcher movie. I didn't read the book. And I barely played the game. <laughs> to be honest, I should probably play Witcher game at some point. Okay. Uh, This is turning into MTV Crip Startle Edition. <laughs> All right, let me check if there is a, if there is inside the vault. Let's go for followed.com. I don't know if they put any because last week they put inside the vault after the Tartle cast. I don't know why, because I plan Tartle cast on Friday mornings because Thursday afternoon, they always publish inside the vault. But last week, they decided to publish it on Friday. Followed World's update live now. It doesn't look like inside the vault, but let, let me click it and see if it's worth to change the camera. I think 
it's just article explaining custom words. I will not read that. We know what is it. And we will see it in game tomorrow. No, no, there is no new inside the vault. And it's the, it's the old one, anything that... Okay, let me check the old one. Old, old one was about Unstoppables. It just was talking about new rewards that I discussed the new rewards in a video then I don't think there is a reason to oh we can discuss the calendar instead yeah that will be I think good idea you just try to get it on full screen and calendar that's what we can discuss we, of course, already have followed words update that was announced on this calendar. And now, October 7 till 11, we have double mutations and goal rush weekend. Plus, that's not in here, but I think it's a bonus double experience. Oh no, that's October. There is no September on this one. <laughs> that's October yeah okay then discuss October again scrap it what I said in October there will be double mutations and gold trash weekend <laughs> not now not, okay this calendar is it only says that followed words drop September 8th but then it suddenly skips to October 7th <laughs> yeah, okay sorry my bad then we have Cups a Plenty weekend and Minerva's big sale on October 14. Then October 19, Spooky Scorch seasonal event. I'm not overly excited about that. Like that's a copy paste of existing event without new rewards. What is kind of disappointing. Next we have October 21st, Super Script Surplus, Double Mutations Weekend and Purveyor Sale, that's 50% off. Then that's good, but Purveyor Sale supposed to include modules, when Bethesda will understand that. Modules, 50% off, please. Bombs Drop Day, October 20. Third, and I hope this time it will be something else than just double experience weekend again and some other uh, events run together in the same time as they put this bombs drop day but they actually don't do anything great and that nukes drops in followed word on October 23rd, 23rd I think I'm pretty sure that's that's the date then it should be something happening in game. Not just, oh, let's activate some events. Then October 28th, double score weekend. That's always good, especially first month. Then some people finish the score. But yeah, first month people still need score and second month. In November, November, double experience, double mutations weekend. That's a good one, November 4 to 8 then november 11 gold trash purveyor sale oh november 14 followed 76 three year anniversary and if they will do like bombs drop day multiple events together and three year anniversary multiple events together again that will be a disaster for like from the marketing standpoint you have third anniversary that need to be something happening there. You need to do something, Bethesda. It's not like you have anniversary every day. You need to be something. I'm not even expecting who knows what, but it needs to be something different. It cannot be like every other weekend. But next, November 18. Double score, Caps of Plenty, Double Mutation Weekend, Minerva's Big Sale. That's fine. Bonus Challenge Week. Then Script Surplus Weekend. Script Surplus is actually better than Purveyor Sale, as Purveyor Sale do not apply to modules. That's actually better. Then in December, 
We have double mutations, poor value of say 25% off. That's even worse than previous one. Then Gold Rush, Double Mutations, Holiday Scorch event. And Holiday Scorch event is original one. It's cool one. But doing the copy as Spooked Scorch seasonal event or Holiday Scorch event, it doesn't work like that. You already have one great event. Making copy of the event with different colored outfits is not a new event. They need to understand that. That's not a new event. Changing outfits on Scorch is not a new event. But this one is really good. It's original, it's once a year, and they should keep it once a year, because stuff like that is interesting if it's rare. If it's frequently happening, everyone got used to it, it's not so fun anymore. Then we have double score weekend, Minerva's big say, double experience, double mutations. Oh, double experience. There's a lot of double experience in this one. We usually have like one, but we have double experience here, double experience here, and now it's running one. Then that's like three double experience weekends. Then that's good. And unstoppables. And yes, I, I know what it says on the board that those shouldn't be a super hero i mean not those on this picture let me let me go back to the where is it no i need to close that back where's the scoreboard the scoreboard link is there, is there a scoreboard link here where's the scoreboard link Oh, there it is. Hidden. Scoreboard link. Any outfit. I know, this says sidekick outfit. And I want to address it, because I had so many comments about this sidekick. I know what sidekick meant, but in the same time, it doesn't make any sense to me. Let me explain. Like, let's see some other, there is like Mantaman outfits, uh, there is Inspector, no one know him, then it doesn't matter. There is Silver Shroud, where is him? Uh, there, Silver Shroud, Sidekick outfit, and you can see how those look like. They all kind of resembles the main superhero from Unstoppable's universe main superhero look, but they have some odd, odd, weird changes. That's what make them different. And here, for example, sidekick for a Batman was not a poor dressed Batman imposter, like here. Silver Shroud, cool looking guy with submachine gun, and here, some guy like bought a costume for Halloween and it's now a sidekick. It doesn't make any sense for me. It's like, it should be called Halloween outfit, Silver Shroud Halloween outfit or something, I don't know. But sidekick, like imagine Fantastic Four and they had like four imposters following them as sidekicks, uh, just dressed in a poor copy of the outfits. Or Superman, with mini Superman running behind him as he's a helper. It doesn't make any sense to make them a sidekick. That's why I totally ignore it. And I was assuming Bethesda really wanted to do it like fun outfit, something like that. But then why they change it? It totally don't, do not make sense for me. I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to say, but it totally do not make sense. Like if you are a real fan of superhero, you try to make your outfit look exactly the same as superhero outfit up to a single detail. If you are a sidekick for superhero, you're not trying to look the same as superhero is, especially if there is four superhero and then you have four sidekicks and imagine that team, imagine Unstoppables, four together with four helpers that look like them, just cheap outfits, cheap version. 
Like that's that's ridiculous. That's why I said that Bethesda is trying to change the lore. If I even accept that those are helpers for them, there was never helpers for Unstoppables in lore anywhere. That's the change too. If not changing outfit, then adding them is a change. Adding them is a change. Plus, why sidekick need the mask over the eyes? What is that? It's carnival? It's Halloween? What's going on? That's odd. Especially this type of mask that only cover your eyes. I like, mean, like like a huge glasses. I was never a big fan of this type of mask. I never understood them. I was never a big fan. Like, what is that? Mistress of Mystery Sidekick Outfit. It's... Okay, that's probably enough ranting. That was a turtle rant. Turtle rant is over now. Let me go back to YouTube chat. Turtle rant is over about the rewards. I hope it helps to everyone that was commenting. Sorry that I didn't reply to every comment that it's a sidekick outfit. I know. I know I didn't reply, but there were so many comments telling me that it's sidekick. It's sidekick. It's fine. Oh, CC, thanks for five bucks, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. CC. Thank you for five bucks. And expendables and stuffables. <laughs> lol, lol. What about Mr. Incredible and the kid who wanted to be his sidekick? But he dressed like him. But those outfits are not for kids. Are those looking like for kids? I'm pretty sure there are adults there. Just, just dressing like kids. That's even worse. Adults following a superhero dressing like kid and trying to be him. And there's four Unstoppables. They, they team in this situation. They not always gather together, but on this scoreboard they together. And they all have imposters behind them. I'm really happy about sorting by stack weight. I already mentioned that when I was reading the patch notes. The guitar and doggo are cool. Everything else seems like a very bad filler. Not, not everything, but definitely guitar and doggo are awesome. I just don't know what, why they necessarily put this guitar as a skin for Grognak Axe instead of giving the skin for guitar that we already have in game. It will have more sense, but I know this play of the words. I got it, I got it. I read your comments about that too. What would the angry turtle sidekick wear? According to Bethesda, cheap turtle costume. <laughs> That's the answer. Yeah, yeah, I think Halloween outfits were unstoppable. Call them Halloween outfits will make for me much more sense as Halloween outfits do not need to like exactly re resemble the character you are trying to impersonate just for fun and you they not expensive then looking cheap is fine. I don't have English accent. I don't know why you're asking about that. I definitely don't have English accent. You probably can tell. Yeah, everyone had weeklies auto-completed, at least partially, myself included. It's always happening after the patch, Bethesda always promised to fix it, never fix it.
yeah, the infinite scroll, I cannot get used to it as well. As I usually just press down button to get to the bottom of my list where all my named weapons and now I keep scrolling forever. <laughs> yeah. It's good and bad, depend what you want to achieve. Everyone like perk points. Tadpoles are not small turtles. <laughs> Lol. The angry turtle sidekick would be a teenage mutant ninja turtle whose weapon is an old school graphing calculator from 1990s like we use in calculus in high school. Okay, that's that's interesting picture, uh, uh, Jeff. Turtle dance? No, there is no turtle dance anymore. The turtle dance was on 50k celebration. That's enough turtle dance. Enough cringe. Only for big celebrations. Oh, thank you a lot for five bucks, Sync Promo. And Sync Promo is saying, love your content turtle. Any tabs or predictions about the four star legendary effects? No, unfortunately I have no clue what Bethesda is trying to do, but we'll see when they open PTS. I will update you what's going on with that, but I have no clue, absolutely no clue. Good morning, Damien. Angry Tartu and his sidekick, Happy Hatchlick. <laughs> Lol. Lol. Okay. Uh, polls. We need to check the polls. There are some interesting results there. Check the community polls. We had two this time, none last week, two this week. Come on, load in. Okay, YouTube is working. We have the community polls. Here you go. First, first one was, what do you need for your legendary crafting in Fallout 76? And that was influenced by the comments. I had surprisingly a lot of comments after I said that we don't want cores, with people telling me that we actually need cores. Then I was curious how many people actually need cores more than modules, as 10k votes, then that's a decent that's a decent sample size. And unfortunately, for those of you that want cores, that's only 8%. That barely anything, almost like a margin of error. Then there are some people that need cores. Definitely the minority. Most people like me need more modules. Modules of a course, as cores are basically much easier to farm. And then, yeah, cores you can mass farm just by doing the imposter event all over and over again. And it's really fast. Then that's probably the reason for that. And modules, there's daily limit. Then that, that would happen here. And probably even more interesting poll. And yeah, result as, are not really good for Bethesda here. Followed 76 words update. Dope or nope? And dope is only 19%. I think from all the updates Bethesda did, I need to start doing those polls after every update, but I think that's on the very bottom. Because for most people, words update, it's not something they were looking for. It's like, it's like, foundation for modding but it's bare foundation there is no modding yet then that's probably why for most people i should probably vote dope for me personally is i can test a lot of stuff much easier than otherwise without it then for me it's good but for most people it's nope and i i bet that 32 percent votes on turtle is because there is quite significant number that don't think either way, it's just 
Uh, that could have been bo could have been worse, could have been better. Then that's probably why. It's not a disaster. The game is still working, but definitely not a full success. A lot of votes for Turtle, but yeah, no, 49%. There is not much new content because developers were investing time into words and some time into daily ops improvements. And even though daily ops are interesting for some, they really a short content. Like daily op is five to 10 minutes a day. And it's not something with so much value. And this double reward, did you guys notice? I posted on Twitter, this double doesn't look like double still. It's maybe a little bit more than usually. It doesn't look like double. I even put on the Twitter post that it's looking more like this 50% extra written on the juice box. What cause the sales of the juice go up even though before the sale, juice cost the same and let's say have the same capacity, the only new thing is 50% extra or 50% free written on the box without any other changes. That's very interesting marketing strategy that seems to be working and people are doing that on products or like Coca-Cola like to do get buy one get second bottle free or something like that uh, but unfortunately whenever this promotion goes on you pay twice as much for the first bottle what means you basically cannot buy one that you always need to buy two and if you want to buy one you still pay for two the maybe that's something like that let's see the top comments here what are the top comments top comment from slamanizer I see it as a great tool for content creators to test and experiment in, be it gameplay testing or build testing. However, with the open worlds only lasting a month, with several months before they return, building will be deleted. PvP communities will tire of waiting and the lack of any accommodation for the harder modes would question why bother. Fun for a moment, but as a casual player, I have zero use for the new modes. And because there is like 45 updates, then my bet is most people that are not happy with this update thinks the same. And I can agree in here. Even for me, I did some posts when PTS was going on. They didn't add options I need to create really cool community content. There, is, there are missing options needed to make a really good PvP competition and there are missing options to do really interesting PvE playthrough with others. There are miss missing options that make it almost impossible to make it as it should be. Still good for testing and for goofing around for a little bit. The second one and I think, yeah, and third one, okay, we have three with a lot of updates. Optical green. Like most people agree already, there is no point to spend hours into a mode that doesn't reward you with anything. They could at least allow progression on the words created by them and disable it only in our created words. A nice idea, but I want to progress normally there. And from Russ, all this update this all all this update did was reinforce my view on how much legendary crafting sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of because you can see how many crafts you actually need to get gear you want. And that's a lot. All right, back to you guys. Back to the studio, how they say it on the TV. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I do remember eight Players limit. Let me see the recent chat. I will not scroll up because I know you guys have discussion when I'm talking and I'm not able to catch up with everything, but I'm reading now. Greg got 20 level ups yesterday. Congratulations, Greg. Good job. This update was basically just for YouTubers. Not only, but yeah, give us some tools. 
The new mode is for a niche of a niche. <laughs> yes, Elvin, that's correct. What is the new building word for? To build, make a screenshot of your build and share, and then it's erased. 54 likes and 148 people watching. That's still good, except for early morning live stream. No capitals, it's not bad, not bad. They should cut the price in half for modules and add more. Yeah, like they should give us an option to choose at least one star or something or reroll one specific star with increased cost but only one that's without ruining like usually people have a weapon with two stars that are really good they would love to improve it but they definitely don't want to ruin it but changing all the legendary effects Hi, Midnight Bacon Gaming. What what do I want to see in the new Fallout? I don't know when the new Fallout is coming at all. I would like to see in a new Fallout, if Bethesda will do it, choices, more choices, because they like character progression choices. That's one thing, meaningful ones that you cannot just take everything like they did in Fallout 4. Need to make choices because choices make the playthrough interesting. And what else? I think engine improvement would be cool if they can do it. I think some donation. Let me scroll up. Oh, yeah, because I was reading, yeah, Rivi Terror, thanks a lot for five bucks. And there's laughing emoji. Thank you, thank you, Rivi Terror. Okay, yeah, I miss it. <laughs> I miss anything else? I don't think so, okay, I missed this one because I was reading. All right, I got it now. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for the reminder. Oh, John, your disc died and you lost screenshots from 76. Oh, wow. You, you never uploaded them anywhere? It's a good idea usually to share them, upload them somewhere that they immortal then. Share them on social media, make them immortal. Oh, Greg Moyer, thanks a lot for one quid 79p. Thank you, mate. Thank you. What? Greg Hall is saying what I'm looking forward to is Angry Tartu streaming Forza Horizon 5. Why, though? That's a racing game. I think. Unless it's a different game. Yeah, for custom words, what I need and is missing there and what I was suggesting on PTS, give us a fresh start option. What means everyone who will log into the world, like instead of creating copy of the character, will make a fresh character in vault. Like the copy of the, whatever you choose, how you look like will be kept, then you don't need to set your look again if you don't want to, but everything else erase again at level one inside the vault. And second option, quest reset, what means like new game plus, you will spawn in your custom world with your character, but inside vault 76, you will keep everything apart from quest progression, all quest reset. That will be cool because then you can play it again on harder difficulty and it will make sense to take on the challenge with your friends occasionally and fun to do on the live stream as well. The same thing when starting from scratch. And third thing I wanted, a server setting lock. What means 
you set whatever difficulty you want, whatever settings you lock, you want, then you lock it. That will prevent the owner from changing the settings anymore. The only option will be to remove it. What means, if you will play on such a locked server, you can do with your friends like a challenge who will be able to beat a content and stuff and you will know exactly the setting then it will be locked and always the same for everyone and no random changes then imagine making a new character like fresh start as a setting for such server locked settings then you join or your friends join and you can play on this server and see who will be able to get farther and you will know that you all have equal playground no one is like overpowered compared to you and you can see what you can do that will be interesting what i wanted to see it's not there unfortunately and dirty dirty done thanks a lot for five bucks and turtle emoji thank you a lot, dirty dirty done and no capitals is saying 69 is my lucky number and then it's a crab whatever that means don't try to investigate it guys Okay, what else I missed? Um, don't know why I stopped reading. Because I was talking too much. Uh, oh, Elben is saying, if they double or triple the cost, would that be acce acceptable to specify which star you change? I think, yes, it's still a lot. Like... You can, if cost will be tripled, then that means you will need one and half day to try to reroll once a one effect. I know there are people that are, are advocating for super rare items that shouldn't be achievable for most people. I'm against that. I want people to have legendary items achievable, but I'm still for super rare items, but cosmetics. If Bethesda can add super rare skins for weapons that you have really low chance to get and then if you eventually get it, you can be proud of it and show everyone I'm fine with that, but I don't want to lock uh, legendary effects that are basically changing function of your weapon and sometimes are required for your build to work well to be locked behind a ridiculous chance of getting it in next five years if you will get lucky especially with untradeable gear. They should make it if you roll something that you can't roll it again in a row. Yeah, that will be good, but still, with current system, when you reroll everything, that's very small help to get what you need. That's almost, like almost nothing. Hello, Fix. Your birthday is in June. Okay, that's what that means. All right, all right. Good morning, Janet. Okay. Uh, I address all the questions? I think yes, then we jump to some, some challenges. Oh, Tomek Player One Mishovitz, thanks a lot for 25 Polish Zloty or with proper accent Polskich Złotych thank you <laughs> and the message is keep up the good work turtle smiley face thank you a lot Tomek appreciate that and now I can log into the game and see what kind of dailies are for today we jump in. Oh, I need to start the Bethesda launcher, then we'll be in game soon. Oh, what Bethesda fixed? I think I can accept friend invites from in game. They did it. I can do it. That's amazing improvement for me. Maybe I will be able to uninstall Elder Scrolls Legends, the card game that I'm using to accept friend invites. <laughs> Maybe I don't need it anymore. That will be a good addition, always. We'll see if this will work again. 
it was working last time, it's still very laggy, but works. Then that's what the most important. Uh, change the camera and we jumping in. Live stream version of the camera and we jumping in. Followed 76. The words. We have more, more than one word in followed now. Plenty of words. Oh, they didn't give you unlimited budget in private words. Because if you build too much, your game will keep crashing. And they probably wanted to avoid that. As it's not really good experience if you build, you start to be happy with your huge build. And then you cannot see it anymore as your game keeps crashing. And you cannot even remove anything. Because if you try to remove anything, game keeps crashing. Then that's probably why they decided to keep the limit. Free repair kit today. I have only 40 atoms. I will be not shopping in atom shop. I need my headphones, but first start logging in. My main, yeah, my main adventures. I need those dailies. I need those dailies. Sound. Work. Hello. I think it's working. We'll see. Just loading screen, that's why there is nothing happening. Good morning, Mr. ZX. Yeah, Mitzi is still not over the fact that nuclear winter was removed. Okay, loading. My loading in. Okay, here we are. All right, what are we doing first? Daily op team. I think daily op is a good start. Oh, I don't. I don't really need to run for experience. Do I need to do event? Oh, I need to do event. Okay, I changed my mind. I need to run there. Okay, we'll change to casual. We'll do daily up after the radiation rumble. Oh, I just got more score for something. Got the posters. That's great. Okay, change. Let's change for casual. Until we beat that. Did it change? It still says daily ops. It's not working anymore. I don't know. So this is daily up. Oh, is my is my power armor tagging enemies correctly? I need to see that. Can I try to tag some ghouls with power armor? Will I get experience? I'm just tagging them with power armor, or not? Hey. Still not working, too much lag. Like, it's working normally, but in Radiation Rumble, it's so much lag that I actually need to shoot them. I'm not getting experience with just with just my armor, then I will be shooting them. Now I'm getting experience. So I'm pretty sure I need to level up to get more score. Wow, there's so many people always here. Uh, Oh, there is no ore collected. Okay, I will fix that, guys. I will fix that. Do I have anything like glowing? Where is it? Yeah, I have some glowing zip. So you need a lot of resistance to radiation here. Okay, tunnel A first. Go away, go. Okay, I'm helping. I don't need experience as much. I need to level up for the score, but that's about it. With amount of free perks from Nuclear Winter, I'm uh, mostly good. With my needs of leveling up, Bethesda sorted it out for me by giving me a lot. Good. More. Okay, you see, now my radiation resistance is fine. 
and without drinking all this glowing fungus zip, I'm not fine. Oh, a little bit too much. Where are those right away? Oh, someone else collecting ore. All is go or is going up. There is there is some in this side tunnel. Right. Oh, I did get experience for some of ghouls stuck in here. I think uh, all those Tesla rifles and other guns uh, with such a huge crowd are causing enough lag that tagging those ghouls with just Tesla coins just do not register at all as a tag. Maybe it has like a lower priority than shooting your gun on the enemy. So there must be a reason that normally it works, but on this event when there is a lot of people and everyone is shooting, it doesn't. I don't think it's random. There must be it must be justification for that. So what are you guys doing here? Right, come on. I need some right away. I was ambushed. I was just fine and suddenly there is like a bunch of snarly gasters. Go away snarly gasters. We'll shoot you with my broadsider. Oh and you guys go away. Broadsider, the most OP weapon in the game. Oh, I'm, I'm getting some more, more score. Let me collect. That's the last tunnel I think I'm doing now. I'll be able to donate after that. Oh, I missed this one. I have everything. I should have like 40. If I pick up everything, I should have 40. Do I have 40? Yes! Then it's me. I didn't miss any. I did not miss any. I have 40. My brute cider is breaking up. All right, we just need nine more. We're doing really good. I have some experience. Where are the death close? Shooting. Do you have broad cider ball and do you have broad cider ball? How many Teslas? What's going on? Where are you running, girl? Broadsider. The strongest weapon. Let me check the chat. As we completed the event. Yeah, the... The Grenadier works with a lot of weapons now. So you can see I'm using Broad Cider. It's not easy to use normally. Oh, it changed to Casual Team. Eventually. Then we need to change back to Daily. I mean we don't, what I'm doing. It's double experience weekend. Then we'll have full experience on Casual already. We don't need Daily Up. Just need to go there. Oh, Chris, you have 100 hour drive in build, followed 4, and you upload it on YouTube. That's nice. Super laggy. <laughs> you build too big. Okay, let's do that. That's actually an easy daily up. Just a couple of shots with a broad cider, and all of them are down. Just don't blow them up close to yourself, and you're good. What are you looking for? I like the broadsider accuracy. 
even in power armor with low perception. Where are we going? This way. Run. Let's see if I will actually get any rewards that can be called doubled. Is I was doing a daily ops on PTS and now on live game and I never get more script uh, than I'm getting that I was getting already from regular daily ops. It was still maxing out at 50. I never get like 100 script. It just doesn't look so double. Let's eat those very mentals I forgot before. They are really fast. The double mutations are interesting, but uh, at least in case of uplink, it's definitely not harder. It is not harder. Okay, I need, just need to sit here, then I can check the chat. Are you already waiting to join Lantern? Even early in the morning? Oh, I'm supposed to check the friendlies. You see? It's appearing who sent me invite and I can accept them. Uh, it's looked like nothing happened, but after a minute or two, they will be accepted. Oh, it's faster today. You see, friend added. It does work with slight delay. But it does work. What this Blood Eagle is doing. Broadsider for the win. This is the new meta for guns. There was no drastic change in guns meta. Just explosive guns went up slightly. What? People don't know how to do this event? It's like it's not complicated. Any event in this game, if, if you think saying about radiation rambles, I think everyone know how to do it. Just most people is going there for experience purely, and they don't even need anything else. And that's probably the reason that you think they don't know what to do. They probably know what to do, but they just want experience, and that's it. I will just sit here. Or I can sit over there, and that will let me read the chat without being interrupted. If they don't have damage to hurt me, then I can just sit here. The luck on this server is insane? No, it's not, not too bad. It's always a little bit worse when you update hits with luck. And it will stabilize. Yeah, Broadsider used to be a MMA weapon, but now you have Grenadier and Broadsider rocks. Ah, oh, Broadsider. Broadsider need to be a two shot. That's a two shot damage while aiming faster reload. That's absolutely ridiculously good broadsider it's great it's perfect if you aim down sight it kills everything actually there is nothing to kill at this moment but it does generally oh, this one is hiding i don't have hit chance oh, he died do i have yeah i do have special blend but I would need... Uh, should I drop tender? I don't need tenderizer, actually. Uh, where is my alcoholic perk, party boy? Now it's 15 perception. That fix all the accuracy issues. As you can see. Where are you, blood eagles? Perfect, you see. Insane accuracy. Insane weapon. Oh, locate enemy group. We up. But are you supposed to read more chat? But I usually like read one thing, then <laughs> then I reply for it way too much, like, and I'm behind again. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, hello there. Uh oh, I blow them up all together and I died. <laughs> I forgot the explosive. <laughs> Help! <laughs> I blow three of them next to me and... <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Yeah, that would happen when you when you blow more than one. One is fine. If you blow more than one, that's not fine. And I could pick up all those cannonballs for crazy amount for of cannonballs. I just usually don't bother when I don't need ammo. When I need ammo and I farm it, I will pick up. That's not a boss. Where is the boss? Oh, there. That was quick. And now I have over 500 cannonballs. Perfect. I'm equipped. Now, our double rewards double. Another attempt. Double mutation means the enemies have one more mutation. Okay, the same amount of experience as always. A great amount of five legendary scripts. That's significantly more than you normally earn, or not? Doesn't look for me like I'm getting any more. 100 caps, doesn't look so great. Three legendary cores, two treasure notes. Yeah, it's a juice box with big red letters. 50% extra. And sleeping bag. Is it new? No, that's thing that's old. 50% extra. For the same price. Ted saying, if you were to get good legendary effects for Hellcat power armor, would you use it instead of Excavature? Uh, if I would get weapon weight reduction set of Hellcat, maybe? Maybe I will use it sometimes. Oh, wait. It's probably too late. Yeah, we're in daily op. It's look like done, but I will fast travel there. Can you farm 40 millimeters from daily ops? Yes, at least you could. I didn't test today. Hi, Angry Kitty. Yeah, you think the Grenadier is intentional? I like the fix, generally. I can equip the perk if it makes weapon better. It's better that than what we had, that Broadsider was really hard to use. Before, you could use Broadsider, but you were forced to aim for leg, what was hitting your accuracy badly. Now you can aim for Torso and you do damage. I'm not sure if you do damage to Scorch Beast, though. Can you do damage to the flying scorch beast? I did damage or not? I not sure. Someone kill her, but I'm not sure. Okay, let me find a scorch beast. Is it enough to because Broadsider was not doing damage to flying scorch beast? It was just just too small radius of explosion. Who needs to read books when you have to read chat? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay, let's see. Can I do any damage to Flying Scourge Beast? I don't have concentrated fire, then my accuracy is not improving. No. Still not enough to damage a Scourge Beast. They do follow, but... There is no damage, clearly. Do I have my missile launcher? Let's see my missile launcher. Okay, scrolling with mouse still stops on the bottom. That's good. Uh, fat man. Not regular missile. I had somewhere two shot. I forgot to rename. Hellstorm. I fall down. Yeah, it's doing damage. I'm not sure if, if Grenadier is increasing the radius of missile yet. I will be testing that later, but at least we do damage. Where are you? Oh, here. But it uses a lot of AP. Much more than Broadsider. Yeah, you just shoot it with a 50 cal. Good old, good old 50 cal. Job done. 50 cal is bloody perfect. I mean that my 50 cal is bloodied. Uh, 
Okay, that's bloody faster. Fire rate 50 cal in action. Uh, Greg Hall is calling me. Why is he calling me? What's going on there? Check inventory, maybe doubles in bag. No. Got 50 script from... Anyone got more than 50 script from... Oh, that's uh, encrypted. Okay, <laughs> thank you for call. Anyone ever got a more, more than 50 script from those daily ops doubled? Because 50 script was the maximum for normal daily ops. Then we have double now. Can we get more or, or not? Anyone got more than 50 script? It, it shows 3k experience first and then it shows okay we'll do another daily op to absolutely confirm it after that we'll do another daily op because it's fast oh lunch boxes no I'm too oh I was in range okay good I'm coming I'm coming for the lunch boxes of course I'm coming we'll open some I should have some it's a little bit laggy here Haha, <laughs> lunchbox from me. Oh, I think we are on the on the cap. Okay, let me go for the pylon. Where's my potato salad? Potato salad. Now I have a lot of health. I can hold the pylon. Ready. Ready for the pylon. Okay, hold the pylon. Another pylon. Excuse me, I want to hold. Oh, you're already holding the pylon. Okay, that's fine. Now, quickly before he will die. Okay, I think I have the tag. What's going on here? <laughs> that's way too many explosions. Give me that one star torso. I need it. I, I, I'm supposed to do dailies. Oh, I did all the dailies. Okay, I have some weeklies, but I have time with that. Oh, one more daily op for 1,000. Okay, we're doing the daily op again. We're doing the daily op. I will check exactly what I have. And we'll see if I get double. Not experience, because that's hard to do, as I will be killing enemies and experience will be changing. Oh, wait. Where is it? No? Go with me? Under me? Maybe under me. You guys started, I will join you soon. No? Not here? Oh, here! Okay, got it. I love collecting those magazines. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. And we will check now what I actually have. Per coin, 644. That's healthy amount of per coins. Over a seat. What are overseer tickets? Why do I have overseer tickets? Is it that for nuclear winter that does not exist anymore? Tadpole badges, possum badges. Okay, script. 2198. Someone please, please memorize it. Close to 2200. And caps, we have 34,540. And the, oh, there is caps here as well, okay. <laughs> 34,540 caps and script 2198. We'll see if there will be any, any difference. Someone write it down and we'll see. And I'm reading chat now. Yes, cannonballs are the best for ammo converter. I have even like 
I think I have three guides for Broadsider. Maybe I need to do four. <laughs> Oh, Cory did like 20 today and did it got more than 25 script. Yeah, that doesn't seem like doubled at all. How 12 is, how 12 doubles 25 is beyond me. Yeah, beyond me as well. Especially that there is no 12. Like 12 is not the amount of script you can get in daily ops then. How did they figure out 12 doubles to 25 with 12 is not the thing. You can get 5, you can get 10, you can get 25 and you can get 50. You cannot get 12, you cannot get 13, you cannot get 2. Oh, all your dailies was ticked off. Yeah, that happened to almost everyone. And weeklies, some of my weeklies that did themselves. Okay, you, you noted. Very good. I have in chat now how many caps I have and how much script I have. That's perfect. I should check my inventory in the meantime to drink all the alcohols. As there is drink alcohols challenge. Let's drink that. Do I have any alcohols? Maybe I don't. Maybe I already drink all of those? I don't remember. I have high voltage hefe, but that's a waste. That's a good alcohol. This is bad one. <laughs> we'll drink that. Have any alcohols? Oh, there is one. Okay, I have some alcohols. Pie. Big expels now. Very weight one, that's a good one, and we don't drink it here. Any more alcohols? Drink that. Where are my alcohols? Okay, I need some rats. Okay, to choose. I want this margarita for later. I have those alcohols that just give radiation now. Oh, I have wine. Not enough alcohols, but I should be close now. Oh. Uh, what are we doing? Eliminate enemy group. Okay, I have enemy group in here. Oh, I'm blowing them a little bit close. Stop running away. Oh, it's boss already? Oh, you don't need to wait for me, guys. It's not like this boss drops legendary or anything like that. It just dies. Yeah, I was able to get the ammo, thank you. And I will save you now. Okay, you are saved. Alright. A moment of truth. Twelve cups. That's truly doubled. <laughs> no script at all this time. More cores. Twelve cups doubled to twenty-five. Okay. How many cups will I have now? Twenty-five or fifty more? What is your bad case? Twenty-five or fifty? Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> Blue Capitals is asking if you be if you became took over Todd Howard job, which person would you fire first? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> yeah, my heavy gunner drinks alcohols all the time. Not like me. I am occasional drinker, but this guy in game drinks all the time something. Too light. Okay, uh, let's check it. How much we had? 540. That's 25. That's what you get? There is nothing doubled. It's 50% extra on the juice box. That's how daily of double reward works. 50% <laughs> extra written down on the juice box. Nothing, nothing actually doubled. Uh, I'm getting attacked. Bye. Hi, Gage Goller. 25. Yeah, I got 25. Nothing doubled. Nothing doubled. All right. Uh, let's see if custom words have anything new for us. So I did those dailies. Oh, okay. Before. Yeah. Script those useless legendaries we got. And maybe exchange treasure notes. Don't even know if I have treasure notes. Yeah, it, it not, it, guys, everyone is saying me, it doubles, it doesn't double in the rewards screen. It divides your normal reward by half and then show you your normal reward. It works on reverse. It's like, it's like, that's why I'm telling you that, guys. It's like this 50% extra promo on the juice box. You are not getting anything extra. It's the normal box, it's just 50% extra written on the box. You don't have anything extra. That's the problem. I don't have too much stuff, but yeah, not to worry. Notes. Yeah, 12 cups at first, that's not a thing. You cannot earn 12 caps in daily ops. That's not the thing, Mac. But I bet it works. Otherwise, they will not keep writing on Juicebox that 50% is extra and Coca-Cola will not be doing a promo. When you buy one bottle, you get two, but you pay for two. They don't tell you that. You pay for two bottles. You buy one bottle, you pay for two bottles, and you are getting one bottle for free? How that's free? That's not free. You pay for two bottles, you are getting two bottles. But there is a big promo, and you are buying more Coca-Cola. Right. Let's see. Custom. Create. Enter word name. Ah, crazy. I don't know what I will choose there. Settings. Free buildings on. Camp power. On. On. Nuclear. All locations loud. Very high radius. Camp budget. Very high. You can have zero? <laughs> Building restrictions. Relaxed. Switch on every goofy stuff. Equipment durability. Invincible. Legendary mod effects. On. Proximity and that. It's, I don't want it. AP cost. Zero. 
difficulty. Zero. <laughs> I don't think I'm not sure if it does anything. Modify difficulty of enemies, but that sure what? It's, there is separately damage dealt and received that you can change. Okay, we do nuclear. Uh, PvP rules. Always. That's... I want different option. I want to disable it. But there is no option. Nuclear force. Infinite ammo, no reload. Damage received and dealt. That doesn't require any changes. General, loot on death, on. Nuke flora, creatures on. Weather, mm. okay, quantum storm rain, zero cost, nuclear. Off. What is sugar bump? Free. All discovered. Zero. Is that all? Okay. That's it. All goofy stuff switch on. Word image. Goofing around word image. Where is it? That's for tell to lab. That's for goofing around. Maybe you should choose different color, but okay, play now. Play. Jump in. We check that and then I need to go. I didn't notice it's already quite late. What? Melka, you, you did get double rewards? You got 12,000 experience? How you did that? Or you're on PlayStation. Is anyone else actually getting doubled rewards? Or is... Ted found something annoying. When switching per loadouts, your shared per cards are no longer shared. Well, that was always the thing, I think. All right. Quantum stuff. Rain. Jump height, as you can see. Hi. You can join the team. Exploration. We're exploring, goofing around. Weapons. Two shot Fatman. Fatman. Bombarding Foundation. Oh, too fast. We destroyed Foundation. Lol. <laughs> It was bombardment on foundation. Uh, what am I doing? Like, I don't understand goofing around words, really. Uh, you, I'm using it for testing, but just a goof around words, like with the stuff unlimited. It's something like for Kevdude. It's perfect for a guy like Kevdude that just, well, let's see what we can goofy around. I, I prefer some kind of a challenge playthrough rather than goofing around playthrough let's uh, kill maybe yes uh, my queen 
Oh, El Bandit 2 ups on PS4, both were 6K experience cap, and no doubling. Oh, I, I intended to jump on the roof, but I forgot I switched the jump height. Where is this Marley Queen? Did we found her? Oh, there she is! I have three vats and I can keep trying to shoot her in vats. I should equip something to give me accuracy. One moment, grenadier, that's fine, but I need accuracy. Concentrated fire to eventually hit her. Oh, I want her. Accuracy going up. And we are getting some hits. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do you think about goofing around words? Will my game crash if I fire too many nicks? It's a lot of nukes. Everything is white. And purple. No, that doesn't crash, it just temporary everything white and then recovers. Back to quantum weather. With sugar bumps filter on top of that. There's my look. Oh I actually what? <laughs> Somehow I'm firing four at once. How am I firing four at once? It's two shot. Not four shot? Quad shot? But there's the please add quad shot launchers. I like it. Quad shot launcher. That's something we really need. Trust me. Quad shot launcher. Who's shooting me? Quad shot launcher is something we really need. I think it just bug out because of this no reload unlimited ammo. But we need quad shot launcher. I didn't kill him. How tough are you? <laughs> Too tough. Killed myself. Now I lost all the stuff, but that's fine. What I lost. What did I drop? Let's say switch dropping everything. Always PvP dropping everything. Drop all the ammo, but you don't need it here. Like all the aid. The bubble has everything gone. Yeah, all the cores. All the aid, all the food. But I keep... Yeah, I keep weapons. Armor, apparel. Food is gone apart from Atom Shop stuff. I keep notes. Junk mods, ammo gone. Okay. Pick it back up. Oh, nuclear kickout as well was there. Killed. Who's on the map? I think someone joined me. Oh, there is. Not net in paradise. Okay. Okay, I, I have an idea. Let's see what he's doing. It's quad shot Mirf. Quad shot Mirf will be cool. I just have quad shot Fatman now. Uh, you cannot reroll named weapons. Lost. Lost there. Oh, no. Oh. I killed him. <laughs> Got him. Where is he? I dropped my loot. Where is his loot? Where did I kill him? I can't steal his loot. Oh, there! there. Oops! <laughs> Killed myself! 
<laughs> Instantly. Okay, that's enough Goofy Carol, guys. I need to go. Let's grab Goofy Carol. I don't know what Goofy Carol words are for, actually. <laughs> no clue. Okay. Okay, everyone, thank you a lot for joining today's Turtle Cast. Turtle will need to go now. Uh, they missed something? No, I think I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I will be logging out now. Therefore, thank you for joining this title cast, and I hope you will have a great day or calm night, and we'll see you all in the next one. And don't forget about tomorrow live stream. We are on Xbox, and we'll try our luck if I can claim this free Fallout First. As I don't have free Fallout First on Xbox, I only have Fallout First in here. Okay, logging out. Time to press the red button. Bye! Take care. Bye.